We begin tonight with breaking news overseas. The mosque massacre in Egypt and what's being called the deadliest attack ever by extremists on civilians in that region. The death toll rising tonight. At least 235 people killed in a terror attack in the Sinai Peninsula. Witnesses reporting explosions inside of the mosque, escape routes cut off, militant gunmen opening fire, ambushing worshipers trying to run, ambulances even targeted as they arrived on the scene. Egyptian military now retaliating, striking terrorist targets, and President Trump condemning the ruthless assault, then using it to promote his travel ban and the border wall. ABC's Ian Panel starts us off. For worshippers inside, there was almost no hope of escape. Most of the aftermath tonight too gruesome to show. Rows of victims draped on the floor of a place of worship. Over 200 people, including children, were slaughtered. Militants setting off explosives, then spraying the congregation with bullets as they knelt and prayed. The attackers opening fire and reportedly shooting into the mosque from four off-road vehicles surrounding the building. The militants blocking off escape routes by blowing up their cars. One eyewitness tonight telling ABC News anyone who tried to flee was shot. There are reports that even ambulances that came to help the wounded were attacked. Scores injured too. Outside a hospital overwhelmed. Chaos as ambulances and civilians arrive with victims and distraught families gather for news. Today's massacre, the deadliest attack on Egyptian civilians by Islamic extremists in a region plagued by the scourge of militant groups like ISIS. A 2011 New Year's Day bombing at a Coptic Christian church killed more than 20. And more than 200 died in 2015 when a Russian passenger plane exploded after taking off from the Sinai. That attack linked to ISIS. Tonight, President Trump calling Egyptian President el-Sisi. He condemned the attack on Twitter, calling it horrible and cowardly. Later, mixing in domestic policy priorities into the tragedy, tweeting, we have to get tougher and smarter than ever before, adding, need the wall, need the ban. And Ian Panel joins us live now. Ian, do we know what the motive was for this attack? Well, we certainly know that the finger of suspicion is pointing firmly at ISIS-related groups. Why? Well, many of the worshippers at that mosque were followers of a mystical form of Islam known as Sufism. That's regarded as heresy by many of the extremists of ISIS, and they've attacked the group elsewhere before. But clearly no rational explanation for the slaughter that took place in Egypt today. Tom? Ian Pennell with that breaking news tonight. Ian, thank you.